Well, I will defend the youth. To be frank with you, I feel so guilty as a politician. Okay. When I see things like that. Call my daughter completed Cornell University or graduated from Cornell on Saturday. Okay. And Tuesday she started working. Before she graduated, she had a job already in America. I drove her from Utaka to New York, inspected the place, and Tuesday she started working. And I come here in my own country as a politician, running my mouth. And I see young men and women bringing the application. They've completed the university or graduated for the past five, six years. Ten no years. Job. Even, no Ten job. years. No yeah. job. That's why I feel guilty as a politician. You feel guilty because you've not um, been able, done enough. Yeah, enough to employ these young men and women coming up. Mm. So the scarcity of job or opportunities is a big challenge in this country. Mm -hmm. And to defend the youth, I think they are not empowered enough because the programs, even MPP has started something, but it's still not enough. Mm -hmm. For this youth, I keep saying the genesis of our whole problem in this country in terms of employment is that the system is not helping the citizens to own big, big businesses, businesses. to enable them to employ others, absorb these young men and women who don't have jobs. Mm. You know why? Tell us. Let me give you an example. I'm drawing your attention. Today, yes. you have a dream that you want to set up a studio and do production. Mm. You have 50,000 CDs. You need another 50,000 to set up your studio. Mm. You go to the bank, the bank will tell you, bring your mother, bring your wife, bring your son, your property as a collateral. As a collateral. That's one. Where are you going to get this? Are you prepared to give your wife? Are you prepared to send your mother? I'm giving you, mm. a, you know, all these examples I'm giving, simply put, means the difficulty you go in before a loan is given to you. That's why I'm giving, saying that your wife will mm. die and your, yeah. your property. That is one. Two, the interest rate is absurd. Mm. Very abnormal. Mm. MPP, we came, we are priding ourselves. That we've been re been able to reduce interest rates from 36 percent to 26 percent. We are mounting on platitudes. I'm sorry. I'm in government, and I'm telling yeah. you, we are mounting on platitudes. Ancient one. Mm -hmm. And it says, in a blind man's world, one eye man is a king. Is a king. MPP performance. We've done well in terms of that because they are comparing themselves to NDC when the interest rate was 36%. Mm. Are you comparing it to an Indian who comes into this country with a loan of interest 2-3%? Going to produce the same awake water with me, yeah. one year Japan. Whose price will be cheaper at interest rate of 3% and interest rate of 26%? And you have the same markets too. Right. Yeah. I'll be not that of competition because the Indian has low interest and therefore he can easily afford to reduce his price and make it affordable mm -hmm. to consumers. True. My, my interest rate is so high. Electricity is so high. I produce this a week 
and it's three times higher than what the Indian will produce. Case closed. We are locked out of business. Yeah. Let's 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 move on. Unless you have other uh, reasons. Yeah, I was going to give you where the banks are also not helping. Okay. All right. If I criticize my government, if they've done something right, I have to praise them too. Okay. The governor has done well by reducing the prime rate from 22% in 2015 2016 mm. to 22.5 to 13.5. So when we are giving loans, it's either plus 2 or minus yes. 2. Okay. F is 13.5. Mm. And the bank asks 4%. Is 17.5. Can you can you compare that to 26? What is justification by these banks? A prime rate of 13.5 mm -hmm. and you are charging 26. 10 percentage points. The bank is also not helping. Mm -hmm. So anybody who wants to establish business, young men and women watching me today, if you want to get broke in life, go and borrow from bank. If you want to get broke in life, yeah. If you want to get broke in life, borrow from banks. But if you don't borrow from the bank, where do you get your resources from? Where do you get money from to set up? You see, mm. good. You have opportunity to work here with yeah. your nice style, looking good, young man. Good. I applaud you for that. You got to save money. Mm. I'm not asking you to leave GTV, mm. but say to yourself that I am not going to work for GBC for the rest of my life. I want to establish my own business. So no matter how small your salary is, you have to save money. Mm. And every drop, as a little drop, makes a mighty, a mighty ocean. ocean. Yeah. You saw the flood in Europe. Yeah. You see how the rain was coming. Yeah. And you see the damage. It's the same thing with savings. You drop it, you drop it, you drop it. By the time you realize you have capital to go and start. What about a young person with no job? A graduate who, I mean, you've talked about the application letters on your desk. What about right. people like that? They just don't have any form of savings, nothing yes. at all. That is why I said I feel so guilty as the. Hmm. I know, let me tell you. Tell me. I gave you an example. Mm -hmm. But you think you have a degree, so you're looking for marketing job, human resource, accounting, and what? Hmm. You know, I employed a guy and a lady. Let me start with the lady. Okay. My site where the guy, example, I give that, give him food hmm. and everything. Hmm. So yeah. There was a lady, a graduate, mm. listen, a graduate who was selling kinky. Okay. The, the mash kinky. Mm. Water and whatever. What we call mash kinky? Yeah. Mm. To the site for the workers to buy. Okay. And my general manager knows me very well. He got there, saw this beautiful girl selling a. He was surprised. And he asked her, what, what are you doing? So I'm selling this and that. Oh, why didn't you go? Oh, I'm a graduate. I said, what? I'm so impressed with you. This is what my boss Thanks. will want to see. So he asked the lady to wait for me. Hmm. Now he works with Ken City. The lady works with Ken City? Yes. Because you were impressed? With yes. Her, so. It means... She is serious in life. She did not stay home, fold the arms here, and said he was not going to do anything because she's a graduate. So when I saw her, I just picked her. Girl, go. I just instructed myself, don't ask any questions. Just employ this lady. And she, that's where she works now. I only told her that the only place I can fix you is Kent City now. Tell my here, no. Mm. If you don't mind, and you go from Tema to Accra, 
you have a job next week. Said, I'm prepared to work. You see. Hmm. Another guy, a security guard at Nick Hotel. Okay. I was talking to him, and he said he has H and D. Hmm. Security guard. I'm okay. impressed. Yeah. Okay. Now this COVID, he lost his job. Oh. I was building a coastal. I swear to God, the guy was carrying sand and water. Now I've employed him as a manager in the cold day. Oh. Okay. You see, so don't sit. All I'm saying is, <clears throat> I I am not saying you shouldn't look for jobs mm. that befits you. But where there are no opportunities, take anything, do it, and through that you see. You see. Just the effort needed. Yes. All right. Okay. Don't stay home. <clears throat> Go around, madam. I'm looking for employment. I'm a graduate. But anything you give me, I'll do it. I'll do it. I swear to God. <laughs> About eighty percent will employ you. About eighty percent will employ you. Hmm. But if you sit back, going to politicians, asking for job, there's nothing wrong with it. But I'm saying that if that opportunity is still not coming, hmm. do something. Me. I was arguing with somebody, so are you not scared the government will collapse your business? Ah, I'll go back to my village and farm uh, in star. Okay, we touched on your daughter's case that she graduated on Saturday. On Tuesday, she has a job. Right. There's a system that actually has taken care of things like that. But in our system here, which we've also agreed that are people with uh, graduated five, ten years now, they have no job. The bigger picture, which is government, have those who done enough? to empower young people and create that kind of environment for them that would be suitable for such as your daughter, the example that you give. I started with it. That's the banking system. Mm. Let's get it straight here. Any country that is the, the government is the biggest employer. Mm. It's a communist or socialist. Yeah. Any country that you find a government mm -hmm. To be the biggest employer is either a socialist or communist. There is something wrong being having a socialist or a communist. Of course, system. yes. Where you solely depend on government for everything. No, it's not good. So what I am saying is that the government should be able to subsidize even farmers. They have to subsidize them mm -hmm. for young ones if they want them to go into farming they have to subsidize them to go into farming the government has to make sure serious entrepreneurs they have shown examples in terms of business that they, they they've started mm. can be given loans that are cheaper or affordable so that they can compete globally mm. and by so doing will be able to employ a lot of people the government when we talk of government government the government has to create enabling environment yeah. the enabling environment one is access to funds hmm. access to funds two peace and security in that particular country mm -hmm. three the readiness of the graduates to take up the new technologies that are coming up. This is what the government should be doing. But the government should not be creating jobs, too many jobs a day. Because the whole of America, if I'm not exaggerating, you will not have even 10 million. But the whole population of 360 mm -hmm. that you have a labor force of about 140 you only get 10 million from government but china is not doing bad china they're not doing bad let me tell you yes china today yes. they are more than capitalists china of course mm -hmm. what they have done mm -hmm. is that 
they blend communism and capitalism. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Okay. Go and see Alibaba. Mm. Most of the companies, the Chinese companies that come in, they are all for government. Yes. They are all yes. for government. Yes. But they allow them, just as GBC, look at your bathroom. I'm sorry, I have to tell you. Because it's government, you see, you have all these huge, huge structures. What do I see? I'm so disappointed. Look at what private companies, radio stations are doing. With these facilities, you allow radio stations and small, small TV stations to beat you. I'm only drawing, don't, don't worry. No, okay. I mean, I'm only to drawing your attention yeah. Yeah. that anything government hmm. will not get anywhere. No, but you talked about China. China. And, and the companies being set up, which are all government companies. But let, these companies are doing well. Let me tell you. Yes. Let me tell you. Yes. What they do yes. is that why I say government is that they give money to GBC. Okay. Okay? GBC run this company. Mm. With your CEO and everything, the capital has been given to GBC to work. Mm. Their capital is what I can a Japan or GBC here you don't have. But China, they staying away and giving the money setting these companies up yeah so they have huge capital to work and individuals be my chinese woman you think she's communist she has her own lights mm. like this she produces light poles and all those things she takes me to her shop and put her car there thirty four thousand dollars pierre j is that a communist but she has support from the state. The Beginning, government. yes. And that's what we don't have here. Precisely. Yeah. So I'm saying that to create an enabling environment, mm. the government has to come in. But I also put, put a caveat there that those who have shown example of seriousness, they have their businesses mm. to grow. We have to help them to expand it mm. to absorb these unemployed graduates. All right.